A panel of judges found the Jakarta governor conducted a criminal act of blasphemy when he referred to a verse in the Quran in a campaign speech. A divisive verdict. The crowd of thousands out here who were calling for him to be jailed and for many were hoping that he would receive a heavier sentence. There's a sense of disappointment. We are not happy. We do not feel satisfied with the punishment of just two years in jail. He should have got the maximum of five years or better still, be beheaded. This man, though, insists that their movement is peaceful. Tell the world that we are not radicals, he insists. We are doing this to protect our faith. Supporters of Governor Ahok are getting ready to head to the prison where he has been taken after he was found guilty. The atmosphere here is one of devastation and anger. Uh, many people have been crying openly and they say that this decision is unjust and that a good man who was doing a good job in government has been brought down by his political opponent. I'm devastated, very sad. I will keep fighting for him till my last drop of blood. I'm a Muslim, I don't know him, but he was such a good leader. His policies helped me send my children to school. The case has been seen as a test for Indonesia's multi-faith and pluralist society. And rights groups here are worried about the signal today's verdict will send. And I think this is more, mostly because of political pressure and also mobocracy, eh? the pressure of mob. Respect for freedom of the speech in Indonesia, and you know that freedom of expression is actually the cornerstone of democracy. So I think this is a very sad day for democracy. Rebecca Henschke, BBC News, Jakarta.